Do you want to hear Noel talking about my steak? I do want to hear okay, Noel talking about your steak. And then finally. Uh oh. You know, he talks a little bit faster now than he used to. Yeah, remember when you said this is sped uh, up and I said no, that's just wasn't. how Noel talks? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right. Hold on, that's our back end. Finally. Oops. I don't know if uh, people want to see that. There you go. Uh, this, by the way, um, if you ever watch those chest videos, chest, the chest videos where they're like, this is the English gambit followed by the Worcestershire uh, Worcestershire. Um, this actually is the Glasgow counter. Like this. Here we have... God, he sounds Wait, so what? fat. He what sounds were those, so what fat. What were those cities? The Glasgow <laughs> counter, the Worcestershire <laughs> opening. Worcestershire sauce? No. Not Worcestershire sauce? Wow. Well, Worcestershire sauce? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that Is that how you ordered it in a restaurant? Can I have some Worcestershire? Wor- Can I get some says- Worcester? Can I have a jalapeno? A, a jal- a jalapeno. jalapeno. Jalapeno poppers. Poppers. And, Let me uh, get those poppers. I'll have the cr- uh, the creamy brulee. You guys have any AI sauce to go on my steak? <laughs> and the worst ch- uh, AI sauce would the, be good. The worst Chestershire yeah. sauce. If you got any of that, right. with some catsup, obviously. Some catsup. I'm trying to remember what other foods people mispronounce because it is fun. It's a lot of Mexican stuff. Can I get some carnitas? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm just uh, done perusing the menu. Can I get some of Al's past- pastor? <laughs> I'd like some Al pastor, please. All right. There you go. A couple and food finally, jokes. finally. Skip ahead. N- this, oh. by the way, um, if you ever watch those chest videos, chest, chest videos, chest videos where they're like, this is, is the English. No, he's just fat. Followed by the Worcestershire uh, opening. Um, this actually is the Glasgow counter, like this. Here we have a excellent follow-up. For everyone is saying, Dick Masterson, you're so mad, you're threatening lawsuit, your your crew's getting arrested, you might be implicated in this criminal harassment shit. Imp- I might be implicated? What are you talking about? I don't know. Me? What did I do? You're the mastermind of the entire uh, situation, apparently. Um, sucks to be you, buddy. He attacked. Wait, why does it suck to be me? Because <gasps> he thinks he thinks you're going to jail for some reason. I wanted to clip. You know, there's that classic clip when Eric first threatened to sue us, and he yeah. said, "I'm going to make a prediction in one year's time. I'll be in jail. Either we'll be in jail, or we're going to have no money left." And I was oh. like, "Oh, that none of that came to pass." Fucking uh, Nostradamus. Mm. The most okay. the the brilliant man on the internet. But highly effective yeah. plain beef defense. This is a 3800 ELO. Is this a show? Mover. Let's take it out. Yeah. Dick says, or you say that Dick is um, mad and not having a good time? Buddy. Buddy, check out the plain beef. <laughs> I bet you feel stupid now, idiot. You dumb fuck. Look at this plain beef. How you going, bro? What is? Was he is, doing? Am a I bit? watching a Tim Robinson sketch? What is this? I don't get it. Is he joking? This is way weirder than I, than I thought it it would be. Is he doing a goof? Is he goofing? Let's let's see. Uh, okay, I'm a little confused. They took pictures of my of my post of my. You post well, the, the picture joke of your is that it's a online. three. It's a uh, uh, two point, you know, two it's a giant quarters. piece of meat. It was way too big. Yeah, you should have uh, cut it. It was cut it in half. Uh, it was. I just wanted to do it. Yeah, I wanted to. You, you wanted know, to. See. I wanted to do the whole thing. The well, you sous you sous vide it, so you can do a big piece of meat like that. Yeah, right? that's the appeal. Now, that's crazy. And you can't I want do it to any share it. Way. I want to share it with people, but you post a picture of a steak, and then just everyone loses their fucking minds. Yeah, you know, even a good like, even a good one. Mm. Even a real good one, like Hallmark one, you post a picture of a steak and people cry about it. Let's say that he's having a bad day now. Come on now. I want to say this. Like, I'm I, I'm a fat fuck. I eat food. I have never seen really? uh, a I, Like, I really don't know how to describe this. It looks like it was fucking boiled in a pot. And then... That's, uh, that's what sous vide is. And um, someone took, like... 
a, a hot grill and just like put marks on it. Yeah, that's just, that's called searing. Mm. That, <laughs> it doesn't look like it doesn't look correct. And then he opens it, and it's like this is raw. This is a raw ass fucking. I don't think state. I was wrong. Was it raw? Cool. No, it's medium rare. It's actually exactly 130 degrees. Yeah, uh, that's the point of sous vide. Um, you it get should, a tube look. Yeah, should look like that. Okay. You know, pink. Maybe a little bit. Well, of red. The, the problem with getting a picture of a steak is uh, you gotta have the right lighting. Well, the, the see yeah, all that see all that shadow being cast from the left side of the steak. So I posted that because it looks like a vagina, and yeah. I said my steak is can, is now believes in Jesus and wants to have a tradcon podcast. That's, that's the joke, joke that's right? Yeah. That's the it's supposed to look that's gross. Good. Yeah, Fucked. like it's barely pink anywhere. The entire fucking thing is raw. I'm sorry. Like, okay, I like. I am a. Um, I am a fat I fuck. You said that. A true connoisseur, and I have. Uh, With worse, worse to Trister sauce. He's a big a steak guy. He knows okay. a lot about meat. Right. What's Let's your favorite topping? Uh, gentleman's taste. So I like medium. He has a gentleman's taste. taste. But I've made... I'm sorry. What was that? What was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's a gentleman's taste. I am covers it in Fritos. A true connoisseur, and yeah. I have. Uh, gentleman's taste, so I like medium well steaks, but I've made Jesus medium rare Christ. steak before. I know what it looks like. Medium I've even well. had rare steak. Um, it doesn't look Bro, like this. I've even I've had even rare had steak. I've even had rare steak? This guy's not human, man. This guy's not a regular human. This, this guy's is what not you get when you post being. pictures of steak online. People have said, <laughs> I've I've even had rare. I, this I've might sound rare. Cra- this might sound crazy. This might sound out that I've even had rare steak. You know, they're putting sauce on steak now. Wow. That's it's like crazy. gray and shit. What the fuck did he do to this steak? Sous vide. Yeah, the fat isn't r- rendered. The entire thing, it's like there's... It's the not meat soap. has like gone gray in wow. the middle. It looks like it's fucking boiled. I really don't know how he's accomplished this. It's called every restaurant does this. Well, any, any <laughs> top-end restaurant does the sous vide. Yeah. No, it's a three-inch... thick. Tomahawk steak. It's like, I say uh, the only criticism I give of that steak could have put a bit more of a sear on it. The sear it. sucked. The sear was it's terrible. a bad sear. The sear but bad. the inside looks fine. Sear's bad. I was hungry. And it's so big. Do you have a like, cast iron care. pan? Oh, yeah. And I didn't, I didn't use, didn't it. use it. I didn't use it because I, I was. I tell you used the grill. I did, yeah. Yep. I did. And I knew it wouldn't be as good. I was like, ah, fuck it. I, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to clean the fucking pan after I this, hear, you yeah. know? But then he comes out. Not even medium rare. I mean. <laughs> Even okay, even if you want like a rare steak, this doesn't look rare though. It looks like blue. It looks like it's completely uncooked. It's 130 exactly, no. It doesn't get it, man. Cannibalizing his own classic juju. I guess you could say he's now a mad cow. Hey Dick, what makes you a rage? Is it is it cannibalism? Is it m- mooey? Is it a steak that's so rare it goes mooey? People moo. listen to this guy. Is that what, is that what makes you a rage? How are people listening to this? Is it when people hey, uh, point out the fact that no sex is a Does it make you a rage? Is it when a cow goes moo? Moo. 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 And then he makes cow sounds? Cow singles. Oh, you got fucked. It's like another shower. How are you gonna do that? What are you? What are you putting that that craft single on? Is that? Cra- <laughs> I just noticed that there's like butter on top. A potato. That's a piece of cheddar cheese. Mmm, that would be good. That would be good on, on him. Potato. You do a baked potato. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Craft single. That doesn't look. Uh, it's a it, nice piece of cheddar. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell because it's stiff. Well, you could uh, grate that up a little bit. Yep. Uh, like gentleman's you, taste. You know, you can base the steak and butter to add more fat to it because fats, fats what tastes good. But the ste- the butter's not melting because the steak is like cold. <laughs> it's so undercooked, it can't melt butter. And then he's like, you know what, my plain beef could use to really season it up. A craft single, hell yeah! You don't live this way anywhere outside of L.A., baby. You got to move to the, the the city of angels if you want to. If you want to eat this good, if you want plain beef of this quality, uh, gray and <laughs> unappetizing and too so cold it can't melt a, a dab of fucking butter on top, and with a little little bit of that craft single, and only only as Hollywood elite get to enjoy. Uh, it's a it's a wedge salad. 
that he's talking about with the no you did the whole steakhouse experience course, obviously craft singles are basically like the little girls of the food world only the hollywood elite gets it's not a craft single <laughs> What are you doing? What is, how is a craft? I haven't seen a craft single in 20 no, years. No, and I'm not going to put it on a uh, potato. Can you imagine if I came into the show and I said, Dick, I got a great problem this week. Craft can singles. We bring, well, can we bring up a picture of a steak and I'm going to critique a steak picture? Yeah. And you would say, that's going to be a real okay. bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, if I did it, you would go, you're a moron. This is terrible. Yeah, it's bad. I don't. It's the lowest form of feedback is post steak, get endless criticism about about steak. It's like, okay. And so, I knew it would happen. Right. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see what, you know, the feedback from this a picture of a steak is. I just feel like when we criticize these people, it's for like kind of funny stuff they did, right? Like, oh, this guy's being an idiot. This guy's <laughs> comic sucks. He said something stupid on the internet. They have a picture of the steak you cooked. It's totally normal. And this is something that we have spent a five-minute segment on, is uh, look at how this man cooks a piece of meat. <laughs> what an idiot. What a moron. This is uh, They have nothing left. This is like when we went to the Josh Denny comedy show, and they said, look at, at them. They went to a comedy show look with at their shirt. friend wearing a shirt. Pedophile shirt. Pedophile. These guys are totally uh, blasted, totally destroyed. Dick is destroyed right now because his steak picture is not up to par. What are we do? Okay, what are we well, doing? I, what are we doing? That's my problem. Our enemies are a level of uh, comedic retardation that I cannot fathom any longer. Bro, they're looking at my dinner. Literally, my leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> Null is literally Null making is fun of my leftovers. Your dinner. Look at this. Look at the food he didn't eat over here. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> I hate the food. I don't know what to. Okay, do you look at this. Look at this food. This guy. Hey everyone! Look at the food that this guy right. didn't need. Can you? There's a craft. There's a sort of cheese that right. is gay. Can you understand why I might have trouble figuring out what I'm supposed to say to these people? Yeah, like the level you're of adjusting things. to t my toxic. I'm world. You have been in this world of moronicism and idiocy for quite longer than me. I told because I had a bonus episode. And I told right. Sean I was bringing everyone into toxic world. Yeah, and I did it then, and I knew mm. it'd be jarring for some people. I'm adjusting. Everyone's in toxic world. Now. I'm adjusting to a situation where the the critiques being leveled against me and my podcast uh -oh. co-host are: look at that steak, look at that shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look at those. Scissors. Look at those scissors. Look at that steak. Look at those <laughs> scary scissors. Look at that steak. Look at that shirt. The three S's: steak, shirt, scissors. <laughs> okay. The triple S. The triple threat. And I need. And he was making moose. I need you guys in the audience to understand. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I really am. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I know you think I'm knee deep in the dead, but I, I'm still just finding my way through hell. <sighs> it's a fascinating situation. It's fascinating. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.